Let's take a quick look at Center Scale and Center Stretch, both transform tools found under the Modify tab. Now, if I were to just use the Size tool and I set my mode to Selection, it will size it based on the center of my selection. Since everything is selected, it's sizing around the center of this character. If I set my mode to Origin, when I size, it's going to size down to the origin. Even if I have my mode set to selection, if I come over to size and numerically size it, let's size it 50% and apply, it sizes um, it down based on the origin. Now, if I wanted to numerically scale or size my object based on the center point, that's where I could come down to modify, transform more, and use center scale, and let's size this down um, 25%, so 0.25, okay, and it sizes it down based on the center point of my selection, okay? So you would use, to interactively do it, you would use the action center selection, but to numerically do it, you would use center scale. Now, center stretch works the same way. It's based off of the selection, but instead of scaling, it, it stretches, so scale would be uh, the same value in X, Y, and Z. Well, for stretch, you pick the axis that you want to stretch it in. Let's do it in the X. Okay, we'll, we'll shrink them in. And let's do 0.25. And we've only stretched it in the, uh, in the X axis based on the center point. If we want to really see that it's based off the center point, we'll come over to center stretch and we'll do it in the Y. Okay, now if it was based off of the origin, it would stretch him down, his feet would stay planted at, at zero, and he would be stretched down, but we're basing it off of the selection, so when I do a factor of 25, he squashes in the Y, but based on the center point. Okay, so that's just a really quick look at modify, transform more, center scale, and center stretch. Uh, both useful tools for scaling geometry based on the center of the selection.